And now that Denver's elections for mayor and city council are over, the money spent in the race is telling an interesting story. How much of that money came from your pockets and how much flowed from big money interests? Denver 7's Angelica Albaradejo breaks it down. This time around, Denver changed up its elections with the new campaign finance system, the Fair Elections Fund. Denver taxpayers spent more than $7.5 million to bolster the campaigns of candidates who agreed only to accept small donations. It was supposed to level the playing field, but big money flowed into the race anyway. Outside of the official campaigns, groups known as independent expenditure committees spent almost $9 million on these elections. Most of that, nearly $5 million, supported Mike Johnston's successful run for mayor. Johnston's outside support came almost entirely from millionaires and billionaires in states like California and New York. Reed Hoffman, a Silicon Valley venture capitalist who co-founded LinkedIn, spent nearly $2 million to help Johnston win. Michael Bloomberg, billionaire and former New York City mayor, gave half a million dollars. And another nearly half million came from a millionaire in Denver, Kent Theory, the former board chairman for dialysis provider DeVita. Kelly Bruff, who lost against Johnston, didn't pull in nearly as much money. She had about $1.5 million in outside support mainly from the world of real estate, and prominent conservatives like Pete Coors, who gave 50000 and Philip Anschutz, who gave 10000 The city council races also saw major money. In some cases, that money was used to oppose candidates. Look at Candy Sitabaka in District 9 as an example. She brought in about $350,000 in campaign donations and outside support, but almost double that was spent to oppose her. Sitabaka is losing to Daryl Watson, whose financial support and opposition was the reverse. Beyond the money spent to support and oppose candidates, the elections themselves were expensive. Taxpayers like you spent at least $4 million just to administer the general and runoff elections. Looking ahead to the next elections in 2027, some are pushing to consolidate the process to save taxpayers money. But big spending outside of campaigns won't be going anywhere. I'm Angelica Albaladejo, Denver 7. And you can find results from the runoff election and hear Mayor-elect Mike Johnston's victory speech right now on Denver7.com.